Hey everybody, welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Uh, apologize if the game audio was a little low in the last one. I had it set to my usual uh, audio settings and this game seems to be a little bit quieter. So I've upped that. Um, unfortunately, there's a few quirks about this game. First being if I... As I stated in the last time, I can't put it in windowed mode, and I can't change the resolution, otherwise the game will crash. Um, I can't actually change any of the settings, because it'll fuck things up. Other than that, um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll press start. The game saves data automatically at certain points, and then it launches right into the loading of the last checkpoint. Yeah. See how there's no option for new game? And I don't... think... There's like... Yeah, there's... There's no option for new game or load game or anything like that. So if I end up... If a recording fucks up and I miss something... I don't have that data. I won't have that video. And I can't even go back and redo the tutorial with the volume turned up. So hopefully with volume touched up a wee bit, it'll be better. As far as the game plays, the game plays perfectly fine. So there's like no... I haven't experienced any hiccups with how the game actually, like, plays and all that. It's just changing the settings will tank it. Hey, Mord. Did I ever tell you about the time I was Diablo? Wait, ghost child, you look like my son Trevor. Please, can I help you, sir? No, do I look like I'm able to help anybody? What are you selling? You see a guy like a... Oi there! You want some gear? I sell your fucking Mac 11. Got in my van run back. That's all we need to run into is Fat Larry's truck of Mac. Hi. Hey. It's got a glowing weak spot that we can strike for massive damage. Ooga booga! Hey, Mord! Yep, that's my dodge. I shouldn't have skipped leg day. Hi. I'm going to take a nap now.
Jeez. It's like old man just wakes up and you fucking clock him. Brains. Thirsty much? Yay! A child died! It doesn't like Skyrim and all those other Bethesda games. Of course it was off camera, but still. Because he took a nap after eating. Yeah, it's Captain Picard. It pleases me to see you recover, old friend. Indeed, old friend. No. is just a little confused. I know what he wants. You see before you the legendary vampire killer. Your old weapon, if you recall. The only weapon capable of ending your immortal life. You thought it destroyed. But you see, you can have the eternal rest you crave after all. But first, you must help me. Prevent Satan's return to the world. Then, I swear to you, I will deliver the fatal blow to your heart. And I am sure you will fulfill that vow. Since you sent Satan back to hell a thousand years ago, his human offspring, or acolytes as they call themselves, have been dormant. I suppose that they, that all of us, feared your wrath and great power. But not now. Now, even my bodyguard is more than a match for you. The Acolytes know you are weak and are preparing for their father's return. Now they fear nothing. Don't they fear the mighty Zobel? Only you, in full possession of your power, Follow me, please. Hmm. We must find and destroy the Acolytes before they can finalize their preparations for Satan's return. It won't be easy. They govern the world of men from the shadows. Not even I know with any degree of certainty who or where they are. They won't 
come out into the light unless we can force their hand. The acolytes must never know who hunts them down. The element of surprise will give us the advantage. Until you are at full strength again. And you don't know who they are, or where they are. Do you know that this city is built upon the foundations of your castle? The Acolytes are focusing their attentions here for very good reason. Satan has specifically chosen this place for his return. He means to enslave you first, to humiliate you for what you did to him. <coughs> Curb stomp his ass. Let's get on. Lights must plunge the world into chaos before Satan can be summoned. Their activities leave spectral traces, which are difficult but not impossible to follow. This is the headquarters of a powerful pharmaceutical corporation. Umbrella. I suspect that one of the acolytes is operating from there. The complex was sealed two months ago and is protected by magic. If I were to use my powers to see what is happening there, they would be able to trace it back to me within a matter of minutes. So, I will send you to the corporation via a portal. But we must be quick so as not to arouse suspicion. The longer the portal remains open, the more likely we will be discovered. Look for any sign of the acolyte. But be careful. What are you waiting for? The only way to travel. We. And so Mario sets off to stop Bowser from being returned to the Mushroom Kingdom by his seven Koopa kids. Now we just have to find John Connor. All right, travel book. Use it to select your missions at any time. So, investigate. Bioquimac Corp. Hey, I got like fifty experience. Some artwork.
Oh, this piece of fans like, did somebody see me? Was that a person running for their lives? Chronicles of the Ancient Light. On the exact spot of this memorial is what known as the Chronicles of the Ancient Light were discovered 500 years ago. These apocryphal texts detail the horrific experiences of those who managed to escape from the claws of Dracula. Most of them lost their minds and parts of their bodies, too, devoured by ghouls, vampires, and harpies. These survivors soon died of the most awful infections and deliriums. However, a few miraculously managed to return safe and sound. Thanks to them, mapped to the inside of the castle, and precise tales of the horrors that took place inside were pieced together. It was the great Roland de Ronceval, paladin of God, who made military use of those maps, gaining knowledge of the castle that, in hindsight, was crucial to defeating the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> Was he Mr. Goldboy who, you know, came around? Ooh. Items. Oh, we got. We got. Heart of Dracul. When Gabriel replaced his blood with Laura's, a change began that went beyond the purely physical, drowning out the love, compassion, and tenderness that filled the man's heart, giving way to the merciless darkness of the dragon. It is a supernatural power that, fed by the blood of his victims, flows through his veins, healing the wounds inflicted on him and prolonging the torturous curse for all eternity. Shadow Whip Gabriel's deeper-rooted training with the Combat Cross remained in Dracula. The Prince of Darkness now uses his own blood, which takes the shape of a sinuous whip, to inflict pain and death wherever he goes. The dark fluid is bound by supernatural force and hardens on impact. Before they die, its victims feel as if a thousand, thousands of fangs penetrate their flesh, breaking bones and tearing their life force from them. Alright, what else we got? Uh, the Belmont Lineage. Dracula. Not even his descendants, the Belmonts, nor the innumerable army of the Brotherhood of Light, have even come close to annihilating him. He is Rakul, the dragon, an immortal being whose cursed soul is condemned to remain trapped in the body of the vampire, bound to his castle for all eternity. From the beginning, the unbearable yearning for revenge has driven him along a path of ire and destruction, a path of infinite suffering and despair. A road that he would now like to leave behind. That's why the power of your god cannot destroy me, because I am his chosen one. Ah, oh boy, Brotherhood Soldier. The boys who prove that they're skilled enough with a sword are recruited by the Brotherhood of Light in their campaign against forces of evil. The tough physical and mental training they are given makes them very efficient in close combat, providing them with ironclad determination. However, if their willpower is not enough, if their willpower is not enough, they wear full armor and carry large shields to protect their lives instead. As lower-ranking members, the Brotherhood soldiers are sent to their deaths by their generals for the sole purpose of offering them better fate than their own. Follow me, brothers, for if you do, you will meet a death more honorable than any you could imagine. Cardinal Victus, Grandmaster of the Brotherhood. Paladin. Those who aspire to be paladins are raised in monasteries, educated under the dogma of faith, and trained in the art of war. Their whole life becomes a test in which any mistake, as insignificant as it may be, leads to a com the complete failure of their mission. Only the purest heart, capable of showing absolute determination and an unswerving faith, will be recognized as God's chosen one. Beyond receiving the admiration of all, and the favor of the Council of the Brotherhood of Light, the Paladins are rewarded with weapons and armor of gold, forged by the best master blacksmiths from Angel Bones. Their aim, yeah, their aim from then until the end of their days is to serve God in the battle against the offspring of evil and to guide their troops to victory. I was once like you, but your God showed me another path. <clears throat> you know, maybe if they made that armor out of something besides, you know, you know, gold... 
I mean, yeah, you stick angel bones in it, good for you, but come on, man. Siege Titan. With the upsurge of battles between the Brotherhood of Light and the forces of darkness, the engineers of the Holy Order quickly completed the last great work of Gandalfi, the Siege Titan. It is a giant wood and metal automaton, inspired by the stone giants that the forces of Agharia commanded in the Necromancer Wars. For over a decade, hundreds of craftsmen worked to complete the mechanism, powered by the divine energy of the gem that the priest placed in its head. In battle, it would be ready to use its enormous extremities, smashing a regiment with a single stomp of the foot, pulverizing the walls of the castle with its fists, and dispatching a group of soldiers inside. Its value in war was such that only after it was built did the Brotherhood decide to start the siege of Dracula's castle. One word is enough to set it in motion. Destroy. Zobek Society Zobek was, together with Carmilla and Cornell, one of the old founders of the Brotherhood of Light who answered the call of God. Leaving their darkest being on the earth, the Lord of the Dead, however, despite his absolute mastery of necrom necromatic magic, could do nothing against the supremacy of Mr. Satan, and his existence was relegated to the kingdom of the lifeless. Exhausted and humiliated, he remained hidden for an era, watching the world of men through his countless spies, extending his influence and preparing his return. When he learned that the power of Dracula had weakened enough that the arrival of Satan was near, Zobek materialized once again on Earth. He left behind the arrogance of his past to take the role of an influential businessman and blended in directly with society up to the present. Now he has a new plan, a perfect plan that will put his two worst enemies against one another, leaving only he, Zobek, to become lord of all once and for all. You can have the eternal rest you so crave, after all. But first, you must help me stop Satan from returning to the world. And for that, this is my promise to you, old friend. Zobek's Lieutenant No one knows the identity of the man accompanying the astute Zobek in his crusade for power. It's rumored that he wears armor forged from metal extracted from the abyss, and that he adeptly brandishes a mystical sword by the name of Masamune capable of going beyond the material realm. Some records indicate that he is the spirit of a damned general, others that he is a demon that must pay a debt to death. However, the most popular story is the one that classifies him as a result of the necromantic re reanimation of a legendary warrior. After all, it would not be the first time that Zobek used witchcraft to create a powerful armed guard. Zobek sent me. He feels you might need my help as you are still weak. Alrighty, there we go with some travel book. Fuck you, fire hydrant. How dare you stand against me? Wait. Oh, good, it stayed open. I thought he was gonna, like, go under it. Can I get up here? Don't mind me, passerby people. Hey, I can dash again. <laughs> You've earned enough experience points to buy your first skill by fucking up oil drums. This page for buying shit. So, what do we have first? Somersault. While blocking with left trigger, use the jump button to, to leap over and land behind your enemy. The red glow over an object indicates you can be broken with your shadow daggers. Hmm. 
Making a small cut on his wrist and using the same power to mold his blood as for the Shadow Whip, Dracula is able to throw a high-speed shadow projectile at his enemies. When it hits, the blood particles harden, dealing a forceful blow that can destabilize the target. With no magic activated, press and hold the right trigger to charge and release the fire. You can move and aim during preparation or cancel the shot by pressing B. Select with D-pad up. Oh, projectiles. The ultimate resource that the soldier's life depends upon is the proper use of throwing weapons. Gabriel became an expert within the Brotherhood when he fought the hordes of darkness. Now, on the other side, Dracula uses his new vampiric skills to throw different forms of matter and energy against his old allies. Select the projectiles with D-pad up. Alright. Now, actually... What time are we at? Because I can't actually check my... Uh, that is close enough. I'll be right back. <laughs>